psalm today will be Psalm 54. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God. We are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 54 Behold, God is my helper. Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your power. Hear my prayer, O God. Give heed to the words of my mouth, for strangers have risen up against me, and the ruthless seek after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who upholds my life. Behold, God is my helper. May evil rebound on those who lie in wait for me. Destroy them in your faithfulness. An offering of a free heart will I give you. And praise your name, O Lord, for it is gracious, for he has delivered me out of all my trouble, and my eye has seen the downfall of my enemies. Behold, God is my helper. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. book of Judges chapter 6 beginning at verse 25 that night the Lord said to him take your father's bull the second bull seven years old and pull down the altar of Baal that belongs to your father and cut down the sacred pole that is beside it and build an altar to the Lord your God on top of the stronghold there in proper order then take the second bull and offer it as a burnt offering with the wood of the sacred pole that you shall cut down. So Gideon took ten of his servants and did as the Lord told him. But because he was too afraid of his family and the townspeople to do it by day, he did it by night. When the townspeople rose early in the morning, the altar of Baal was broken down and the sacred pole behind, beside it was cut down, and the second bull was offered on the altar that been, had been built. So they said to one another, Who has done this? After searching and inquiring, they were told, Gideon, son of Joash, did it. Then the townspeople said to Joash, Bring out your son, so that he may die for he has pulled down the altar of Baal and cut down the sacred pole beside it. 
But Joash said to all who were arrayed against him, Will you contend for Baal, or will you defend his cause? Whoever contends for him shall be put to death by mourning. If he is a god, let him contend for himself, because his altar has been pulled down. Therefore on that day Gideon was called Jeroboam, that is to say, let Baal contend against him, because he had pulled down his altar. Then all the Midianites and the Amalekites and the people of the east came together, and crossing the Jordan they encamped in the valley of Jezreel. But the Spirit of the Lord took possession of Gideon, and he sounded the trumpet, and the Abiezrites who were called out to follow him. He sent messengers throughout all Manasseh, and they too were called out to follow him. He also sent messengers to Asher, Zebulun and Naphtali, and they went out to meet him. Then Gideon said to God, In order to see whether you will deliver Israel by my hand, as you have said, I am going to lay a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece alone, and it is dry on all the ground, then I shall know that you will deliver Israel by my hand, as you have said. And it was so. When he rose early next morning and squeezed the fleece, he wrung out enough dew from the fleece to fill a bowl with water. Then Gideon said to God, Do not let your anger burn against me. Let me speak one more time. Let me, please, make trial with the fleece just once more. Let it be dry only on the fleece, and on all the ground let there be dew. And God did so that night. It was dry on the fleece only, and on the, all the ground there was dew. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Come, let us return to the Lord, who has torn us and will heal us. God has stricken us, and will bind up our wounds. After two days he will revive us, and on the third day will raise us up, that we may live in his presence. Let us strive to know the Lord. His appearing is as sure as the sunrise. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring rains that water the earth. O Ephraim, how shall I deal with you? How shall I deal with you, O Judah? Your love for me is like the morning mist, like the dew that goes early away. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets, and my judgment goes forth as the light, for loyalty is my desire and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Gospel of Luke, chapter 14, and beginning at verse 12. He said also to the one who had invited him, When you give a luncheon or a dinner, do not invite your friends, or your brothers, or your relatives, or your rich neighbours, in case they might invite you in return, and you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed, because they cannot repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. One of the dinner guests, on hearing this, said to him, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus said to him, Someone gave a great dinner and invited many. At the time for the dinner, he sent his slave to say to those who had been invited, Come, 
for everything is ready now. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of land and I must go and see it. Please accept my apologies. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I am going to try them out. Please accept my apologies. Another said, I have just been married and therefore I cannot come. So the slave returned and reported this to his master. The owner of the house became angry and said to his slave, Go out at once into the streets and lanes of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind and the lame. And the slave said, Sir, what you ordered has been done, and there is still room. Then the master said to the slave, Go out into the roads and the lanes, and compel people to come in, so that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those who are invited will taste my dinner. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins in the tender compassion of our God the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of their sins. Let us pray. Pray today for the Queen, the Royal Family, for members of Parliament, members of the Welsh Parliament, the Scottish Parliament and the Northern Ireland Assembly. We give thanks for all who work for reconciliation, for peace and for your justice in the world. We pray for those parts of your world scarred by man's inhumanity to man, for places of conflict, places of terrorism, places of oppression and persecution. that they may know your freedom 
justice and peace. Pray for your church, continuing in our prayers for the deanery of Battersea. We pray for plans and preparations for a reopening of churches for public worship next month. We pray for all who in whatever way will visit our own church today, that they may find your peace and loving presence. Lord God, you have taught us that all our doings without love are nothing worth. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtues, without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for your only Son, Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father. And so in faith and love we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.